what I, I need to do. I feel like I know what I want to do. I believe in what this company is promoting and I think if I believe in that, then I have to be the face of this company. And to be the face of this company, well, there's no you know, cringe-worthy terms like ace or you know, just champion. Like I just want to be champion. Like that's why I'm here. I want to evolve with this championship and I think without the pressure of being champion in such a competitive environment. The belt, I'm sure it looks nice in photos, but it's bloody heavy. I didn't chase after it just to have it and uh, keep a prop on my shoulder, unless you're a fighting champion. What's the point of being a champion otherwise, huh? Wait, I think this is the end of Zack Sabre Jr. I think not letting pride get in the way uh, of a victory. Like uh, I've had to, I've had to dig deep and get you know snatch a couple of uh, roll-up victories. But I think at the end of the day, being champion is more important than uh, than that pride. Zach got a pin with the bridge. Is it enough? Yes. Just the confidence in knowing that everyone's coming after you. It's almost uh, it's a bit liberating. The longer you have the the championship, even though obviously the thought of losing it becomes more prominent, but kind of, uh, it's much easier as you go on. Against one half of the Evolve Tag Team Champions, Jaka of Catchpoint. No one has been on a better run than Zack Sabre Jr. Yeah, he really blew me away. You know, I've been with this company for a few years now, and I've, you know, I'm familiar with him, but it's always different when you actually step in the ring with someone. Man, this place is electric! You know, obviously I, I was an established top guy. It always feels weird to it, but you know, I'm kind of at the top and he was trying to prove a point, so it was really exciting to kind of feel that energy and that, you know, that anger. Took his head off with that kick. Biker bomb for the win. It's over. And uh, I think when you put under pressure when you're a technical wrestler, then you really kind of adapt and kind of create organic situations. So yeah, I like that. I really like that. Submission predicament. He's got the knee bar. It's over. It's over. It's over. Darby's fascinating and he's very intriguing. I think I think he earned a title match. I think maybe the people who said that maybe he didn't deserve that are wrong because, I mean, he literally broke bones and, and bled to, uh, to get to that position. Country establishing himself as one of the top stars, and here he is fighting for that championship that he so much covets. And he's got the champion reeling here. Yeah, I did grow frustrated. I thought, you know, I, I kind of like wrestling reckless people the most because they make the most amount of mistakes. So I thought I had him, you know, with a couple of submissions before. But the result, was what I thought it was going to be, and uh, and I, I hope I proved a point. Like I'm not just the evolved champion. Like I, I I genuinely believe I'm on a higher level than the vast majority of wrestlers out there, and there's some incredible wrestlers around. So that's where I think I'm at. Good on Derby for trying, but you're not there yet, mate. I've known Water for over a decade. We're actually uh, we're good friends outside of the ring, despite what you'd expect if you watch us wrestle. Yeah, there's a little bit of pride when I wrestle him, and I guess I can be a bit uh, short-sighted and try to uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, but I know, I, sometimes, you, sometimes you have to do it. Sometimes you've got to prove a point, and I don't know. Picking your moments, you know, uh, I feel confident I can submit a bigger man. You know, I definitely lost that match because I tried to, to go strike for strike with him. I don't, you know, I don't take any match lightly, but it wasn't a title match, so I think you experiment, like how, how hard can I strike? And it wasn't hard enough that time. <laughs> Oh, 
you know, I have a good connection with Matt out of the ring. Yeah, you know, I think there's the the right level of animosity between us because obviously I want to be the top guy in Evolve, like I'm the champion. I spent a long time chasing after the Evolve belt, so there was a little bit of pride at stake. I will, will be the next and new Evolve champion.